Hey guys, Rebecca here. I've been working on more beaded butterflies. It is show and tell Thursday, so I'm going to show you what I've been working on for this upcoming sale at North Haven Gardens on Saturday. <laughs> Anyway, I have two more added to the collection. Um, the nickname for this butterfly is the Once Married Butterfly. It has a longer uh, fancy name, but um, I like the Once Married Butterfly. So all of these are based on actual butterflies that I find. I, I've done a few that are just kind of fantasy butterflies that are just color and pattern and made up stuff. And they don't turn out as well as the ones that are actually based on real butterflies for some reason. Anyway, I like these better um, when there's a real a real insect behind them. The metal on this that it's sitting on, I don't know if you can kind of see that, that is a heat sink. Um, heat sinks are in every all the technology that we have. Uh, they cool our machines, so it's cooling this uh, artificial pollinator. So all of these butterflies are, they have vacuum tube bodies, or that one actually had a beaded body, but a lot of them have vacuum tube body and um, even when they don't have the tube, they have some mechanical parts. This has a couple of screws jutting out from it. And of course the heat sink and the circuit board spray paint in the background. This is an actual oval circuit board on this. This is a peacock butterfly. And um, the text underneath, I'll move this in a little bit closer. The text underneath the, t the glass mosaic is all related to mating because um, you know, birds and the bees, that's what they do, they mate. Um, so anyway, I'm liking this one a lot. Uh, it hangs by um, a ball chain, so more mechanical hardware kind of stuff. Hey, hey come on up. Ah. <laughs> Higgins says good morning. Say good morning, Higgins. Look at the camera, look at the camera. So he's not gonna look at the camera, but I will. <laughs> anyway, and so I've been doing those, but in addition to those, I have done some digital art prints. Um, ah. So, um, so this is the peacock butterfly, um, painted up in Photoshop, and you can kind of see there's a circuit board pattern that I did in Photoshop in the background, but there's also um, a spray paint stencil in gold. It's kind of a shimmery gold. Um, circuit board pattern also on top of the digital print. So it's very layered and you can see this, um, where is it, this blue line and some of this red and then in the body the purple lines that are kind of outlining it and stuff. There's a lot of neocolor, uh, watercolor pastel uh, type stuff. The neocolor pastel crayons have been added to it to give it another layer. So I've got that one. This is a pink underwing moth. I have not done the pink underwing moth as a beaded butterfly yet, but I intend to because I think he's really cool. Um, I love pink and um, I like the back, the dirty green on this uh, combined with the pink. Um, and again, it's got the circuit board pattern in the background and the spray stencil. You can kind of see that gold shimmering a little bit. So I'll have these for sale. These will be matted and mounted and uh, sleeved in acrylic with backer board. Those will be available for sale. Um, the beaded butterflies are a little pricey. Um, it's fun to have some butterflies available. This is another pink underwing. This is the first one I did. I don't like the background on this one quite as much as the background on this one. And you can see I need to go in, oops, not that one. I need to go in on this one and add, um, it's got a little bit of silver crayon on the wings, but I need to add down to the border the red to hide the um, white border that comes off of the printing. So yeah, so this is what I've been working on. Um, and I don't think I'll have time to do more of these guys, although I really want to uh, before the sale. But this is what you'll find me working on next spring. Um, I want to get a whole collection of these guys. Um, I bought some new forms. Some of them are like 10 and 12 inches big and so I'll be making some larger ones. I'm not quite sure how those will get mounted. Probably I doubt that I'll be able to find circuit boards big enough. Maybe, maybe if I combine a couple 
uh, on a wood form. I'm not quite sure how the larger ones are going to get mounted. Um, but the larger ones will have even more techno stuff in them. I would like to have whole areas of color on the big ones that are nothing but these little um, diodes, uh, colored diodes to make up whole swaths of color. I think that would be really rich looking. Um, so that's where I'm going with it. And that's all I know. Um, thanks for watching. If you like seeing the artwork that's going on in the studio, hit subscribe, follow along, hit the, hit the like button, and check in with me next week. I will have more stuff to show.